Hey guys, Ricardo here and welcome to another blog tech tips. And of course, in today's tutorial, guys, I have a um, tutorial involving the Samsung Galaxy S22 Ultra. Um, this is the S22 Ultra, also applies to the general S22, S22 Plus. And of course, um, if you're having an issue where your device is not powering on, I'm going to help you in troubleshooting the problem. Please note that my device is working fine. However, these are general um, tips that I usually give in cases where your device is not coming on or powering on. So I'm going to run you through the steps. Please try everything. Do not rule anything out. As uh, um, Usually, if you're going to assume that um, it could not be that, you're going to run into issues. So do try everything and rule nothing out. All right. So the first thing you want to do, guys, is in case your device is not pouring on, it might be new. Or of course, you might have it for a while. It doesn't really matter. Um, if it's not pouring on, you're going to check these basic things. Um, do it in order, please. So the first thing you're going to do, guys, in case your device is not pouring on, is to go ahead and make sure that your device is charged. So go ahead and um, find your USB cable um, that's for your device, um, the adapter, and of course, go ahead and um, plug your device in. So once you plug your device in, make sure that you give it at least 15 to 30 minutes to charge. Now, of course, after giving it 15 minutes to um, 30 minutes to charge, um, there should be some charging indicator on screen. Sometimes it might not even appear on screen, so do not worry. Simply leave it plugged in for that period. And once you um, leave it um, in the outlet for that um, 20 to 30 minutes, next thing you got to do, guys, is to try to power on. Now, of course, if you try to power on and you're getting nothing still, um, go ahead and check your adapter. If you have a, a spear adapter, go ahead and... Um, use that um, also change out this cable here which is the usb cable sometimes these go bad and you might think that it's charging and the problem is actually the cable itself so if anything get rid of the current cable and adapter so try a new um, usb cable and of course a new adapter also guys if you have a spare phone um, try using the adapter on that phone and see if, um, if if it starts to charge if it's charging one phone it should be able to charge this one so sometimes the problem is the usb cable or adapter so switch both out if you can and try a different one sometimes it's that and once you change those out the device will start charging again as the problem was either the cable or the adapter itself um, that went bad and it's causing your device not to charge now, of course, if you're sure the adapter is working, especially if it's been tried on another device and it's working quite fine, um, the problem might be with the phone itself. All right. So, of course, if the problem is not the adapter or the USB charging cable, the problem might be with your charging port itself. Now, of course, the charge port might have um, dirt or lint inside. Um, I suggest that you get a toothpick. Um, you can use a piece of toilet paper and you're going to carefully um, clean the port. Um, be careful not to damage the mechanisms on the inside. So you're going to carefully um, clean out your port. Use the tissue paper and clean. Use the toothpick to remove any lint or dirt inside of here. Make sure all the mechanisms are fine on the inside and you do not break anything or cause anything to snap inside of here. Also, do not use any conductive uh, material or anything that might cause a short. So that's why I recommend using um, a toothpick that's made out of wood, usually plastic, some um, form of inert material. And of course, um, a dry piece of um, toilet paper to simply clean the port. Once you clean the port, guys, of any lint or dirt, then try to connect the device again and to see if it's charging. All right. If it's not the charge port, the next thing that you're going to uh, make sure, guys, is... Um, make sure that you're pressing the power button hard enough. Um, let's say, for example, it's a new device. Sometimes you underestimate the force with which to push the power button. So if you find that um, it's new, maybe you're um, kind of um, not pressing hard enough. So make sure that you go ahead and push with a relative amount of force. Um, it's highly unlikely you'll break the um, phone, um, of course, by pressing. So go ahead and press the power button. And of course, if it's a new phone as well, make sure you're pressing the actual power button. Um, the, they tend to move around the power buttons. So up here you have, um, if it's the ultra, there's volume up, there's volume down, then there's power. Usually it was the other way around. There was power somewhere up here. And of course, the volume was, I think, down here. So make sure you're actually pressing the power button. Um, press with force. Um, that's the first, um, the 
about third thing. Now, of course, if you're pressing with enough power, your adapter is good and the charge port is clean and the device is still not coming on. Chances are, again, the device might actually be on, but there's nothing on the display. In said case, what you're going to do, guys, is locate your um, power button and your volume down button. So once you find your power button and your volume down button, what you're going to do, guys, is to go ahead and press both. Um, as I said, this device is actually working and I'm just demonstrating um, how to actually do so you're gonna do a power cycle so go ahead and press volume down and power so you're gonna press and hold you're simply gonna press and hold hold that for at least 15 to 20 seconds once you press for 15 to 20 seconds with power and volume down you're gonna let go um, of course um, you might see the Samsung logo come um, up on the display in some cases nothing might happen so wait a little then of course go ahead and press power and let go and what's going to happen is that the device is going to um, power up. All right. So once the device comes on, um, of course, from there, simply go ahead and connect your charger again. And the device should start charging. In a case like that, the issue is that the device um, UI basically crashed. And using the power and volume down button can solve that issue. All right, guys. So if you have tried um, those methods and nothing is still happening, um, you could have a defective device, meaning that something is wrong on the inside. Usually, the culprits would be the battery being um, defective. Or of course, if it's a brand new device, you might have a dead on arrival device, meaning that it's not um, functional at all. Um, another thing that could cause the problem is that there is a problem with your display. Um, if you have dropped your phone, um, of course, if you had it in an environment where there is liquid, or you had, um, it has fallen into the toilet or a pool or something like that. It could have been that um, the device had shorted out and it's no longer able to power on. In a case like that, um, you'd have to actually disassemble the phone. And if it's water damage, um, there are indicators on the inside to indicate water damage and so on. So, of course, in some cases, you might have to take this to a more um, of a professional to have the device inspected. But of course, if you try those um, initial tips and if everything um, is okay with the device in general, it should be able to power on with the tips I've given. But in a few cases, it might be a more severe situation where you need to take it into a technician or a specialist or of course, if it's under warranty, you can take it back to Samsung. All right. So of course, I'll end the tutorial here, guys. Um, if this was helpful, please let me know in the comments. As always, guys, Ricardo from Blog Tech Tips saying bye until next time. Bye.